Now, obviously, this is what's happening. Earth's here. Okay? Now, as long as we're on Earth, we will always be moving in a circle. It doesn't matter. Wherever you are on Earth and whatever you do, wherever you go, whatever happens, you will always be moving in a circle until you get out of this circle. So that's why this circle is very synonymous with the circle, with the pentagram inside the circle. But instead of looking at this as a symbol, look at this as just phi, which means the structure that everyone has been created with inside of this reality. This is also the other major situation that's going on here. This planet next to us, known as Venus, is creating what I believe is a womb that is shaped like this. And that what's happening is, is up here where we're coming from, let's say uh, the fallen glob, because <laughs> you don't even have a body. You come through this, and this gives you this phi relationship for this particular reality, because this is the womb that I believe that most people are coming from. Now, here's another thing that shows you why this in a major way may be true. Maybe not exactly like this, but true in many tense. The scripture says that 33 of them, or 30, 33rd, or a third, excuse me, that's third, but this is the same thing, fell from heaven, right? So when you can really grasp then that the body then, and its consciousness is related to this, right? It is phi. You start, again, having the numbers that are actually associated with the entire activity. Because now, watch this. If a 33rd or a third of them fell, that will kind of equate to why there's 33 positions in our spine. Because that's 33 vertebrae minus heaven, or minus the, the skull. So what it's basically showing is, is that the, these 33 notches, which also connect in with all the rest of the body, are actually the part of our consciousness that fell. So I think that this sets the stage for an entirely different kind of dissertation about what is going on here on, in this circle. Because what, what the pentagram has become is it's become a hidden symbol to tell you about something that is not a pentagram in itself, but more of like a globule. But because they are having to define something that is undefined, remember, this same globule is here. It's undefined. So they have to send it through here to define it. And that's why the world and the people that live in the world and the way they act and the way they behave, no matter how much they try to change things inside of the circle, will always be indeed moving in a circle. Now, this takes us to what we were talking about the other day. Let me show you how I come to all of this epiphany on this particular situation, why I may be foolish in others, is that... Once again, going back to this entire concept of where we came from and how we got here, and denoting that, as I've repeated thousands of times, that if you have all these people here, and I'm going to make, obviously, a design for this. Draw a thousand stickmen. I have to put someone, hey, draw some stickmen in here. So you get the point. Right now, we can say, I guess they're saying there's eight, seven, eight billion people in the world, okay? So, a, a 10,000 years ago, what was this number? I won't even ask, you know, someone to give me a real answer. What was this number? Surely it was less than this number. So, when you keep going back, keep going back, keep going back, keep going back, okay, you're going to get one being known as the apex human right? The archetype itself. Now, this is also called an apex, okay? So 
what we're dealing with here is on earth, everything did spring from one source, no matter what anyone wants to say about it, argue about it, try to claim this, say that it's there, say in this Illuminati, whatever. It's just a basic diagram for a very, very common sense topic, okay? But what happens from here is that most people are lost then to where did this being come from? They always say that it came from the stars. <laughs> That's what everyone does admit that, okay, we're, we're from the stars. That's where we came from. So this star field then, is it denoted like this? Okay, of a place with a limitless amount of souls and energies and essences and all sorts of stuff. And this again is, is then the this is the divider. That's what you're dealing with here. This this is the actual thing that sprays out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors. Okay? So once this solar vehicle, solar body, limitless being puts themselves into this this prism, it fires out all these different variations of themselves that they start wandering around the planet acting like they can't recognize. I don't know, he's not my kind, he's not from my tribe, you know, and that whole thing starts to go on, right? But here's what I really wanted to explain first, because this is deep, deep stuff, heavy level stuff. This is limitless. Even putting a circle around something, no matter how much the circle means so much to us as being the designation for, you know, the abyss and the whole thing or whatever, it's still just an indicator. But what we're really saying is in Limitless, there's no, no indications. So that's what I wanted to first just clarify in the beginning of this about the symbols like the circle and to still to see that if we're saying, oh, everyone's over here and this is the, this is the symbol of it, this is not the symbol of it. This is just a space where everyone, more people are. That's what I was saying about what we will probably figure out is that when we get to this stage of, 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 uh, of, of enlightened consciousness and the realization that all is self, then you will only get to another field that opens back up like this if you don't go far enough. And I think that this is what happens to a lot of people. They think that they got all the way to the top. I'm high rank seraphim now and now I know how to control minds and now I can move objects and now I'm affiliated, I'm immortal, I got the elixir. And then they don't realize that where they've now gone is back into this again. Now they're limited again and inverted. And this is what, you know, it takes years and years to lay down and put these diagrams in your mind and start thinking and moving with them. Not just, you know, uh, I guess just thinking about them and, and, and pondering them, but moving with them, meaning that actually incorporating it in what you're doing, at least being the fly on the wall in it, and then start really seeing, hmm, according to what I'm witnessing here, and this is what I, what I also wanted to show. So remember now, that I'm, when I'm talking about this infinite being that came from an unknown source, it came out as a globule. And even a circle is not enough to describe its limitless abilities. But often the circle has to be used to denote spirit in our reality. So now let's get to the meat of this. So once again, we have these archetypes. So, or excuse me, uh, things that are synonymous with each other. Earth, the human, phi. This is all about the spiral force. You see this with waves, you see this with curves, you see this with mountains, you see this with everything related in this reality. And this pentagram. So now, okay, so let's just look at those symbols for a moment. And then now, let me just grab my notes. 
because I'm going to explain to you the rest of why this metaphor about fighting the dragon or the serpent or the league of serpents. The lords of this world, the, physical, the physicality. Why, when they're saying that there was a war in heaven and then the dragon obviously wasn't in heaven already. So he's saying the lower body was warring against the upper mind or the higher mind. Now, then what is the higher mind? And this is where you see this de-evolution from, you will have to use the term now, God, for those who don't understand other terms from supreme beings or supreme being, all is self. This is not a separate entity. This is everything. And then what you would call an angel, Nephilim, Rephim, or Amazon, and then what you would call a man and a woman. Okay? This is several stages. And that's why it's becoming very difficult to even explain this to individuals because they don't see these, these levels of stages like uh, basically no number, the angel who they say is not gendered, but still now physical. You know, they say gendered angels done not male nor female. They say, oh, they didn't have, they didn't have the actual sexual organs. Okay, so they're getting you a little bit closer that, that this is a physical androgenin with in always an archetype it has wings because it's to denote that it's coming from above these are all fallen beings now you also again now have the re reincarnations which are the man and the woman so this is the the genealogy and the symbols again that are to be used here and let me let me uh get here to my notes the most powerful symbols then, are now, and this is how I'm going to prove that white is negative. This is, again, another epiphany. Because white is not clear. White is not clear. Even though many people in their states of mind are programmed to believe that white is clear. Now, I told you, on, in this world, there's a ruler called the black serpent, okay? That is the serpent I'm speaking of. This is Saad, okay? How could it be a serpent, though? Because people now they're looking for this bipedal hybrid reptilian creature, right? That's what they're looking for. They look for a naga. You missed it. It's oil. Oil is energy. Is energy alive? In every tense, any fuel is the living component. So why do we not see that oil is alive? And that the black serpent then is oil. It's not man, man. <laughs> Man is everything. That's what I keep trying to explain. Like, you're the globule. You're everything. You can't even say you're oil. You can't even say you're serpent. You can't even say you're dog. You can't even say you're anything because you're everything. That's the facts. So if they want to play the game and then screw, all, screw your firmware up and your hardware up, have you twisted off in some backwards plane, then that's one thing. But energy is always alive. It's the only thing that's living. So we use the black snake, the black serpent, to power this world. That's what it means. So... It begs one to answer, ask once they just see that and understand what that means, that white is not clear, and that the caudaceous staff is the symbolism of two serpents. Okay? Two serpents. All right? These are not the right colors, unfortunately, but you get it. Okay? So the two serpents here... whispering to none other than the human body. This is Kundalini. And one snake saying, hey, this is what I think you should do. And the other snake saying, man, you shouldn't do that. When really straight and narrow is the way, no thought. 
it's a Zen place. Like, it's a zone. You don't need to really, like, think, because thinking slows things down. You just know what to do. Like, we create life. We don't need to be told how to make a baby. Like, oh, piece by piece. Okay, now it's time to put the heart in. Now it's time to put the throat in. That's not what's going on in mitosis. It knows what it's doing. The soul is very well aware of everything. So uninstalling uh, knowledge that is false is the key to actually connecting your system. Now, this proves that white is negative. And this is why, because white is not clear. So white is Moloch then. Because Moloch, as I was explaining to everyone, everyone suckled when they came here. So your king and your lord and the one that you have to do obeisance to every day is what provides you sustenance. So before all of this other stuff got here, like these droids and all this stuff that shrouds the vision of what is going on, originally that milk, that suckle was what we became dependent upon when we were this little baby, this little pentagram. Little baby pentagram who is indeed uh, now you see why it was originally always drawn, drawn like this, and this was the horns, because this is the affiliation, and this is ancient. This is not something to do with them creating a, 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 just the Necromicon and some of E.A. Goiding's work. This is about what the Arabs had already discovered was going on with the moon and all the reproduction on this planet, and that's why they had denoted it as that symbol, and they knew that that meant horns. They knew that this whole idea of milk or Moloch or the king or the one who provides you substance is the white snake, snake goat to be exact, serum. That's what the name is. So you will have to be in there in full genuflection to be able to understand this these days because most people are trying to just go off and hang out with Justin Bieber. So that's what we're talking about. So black snake or white snake is still a snake and it's still silent and it's still deadly. Straight and narrow is the way. That means the way that is truly flowing the most within us is the path that we already been taught as children of which is what is correct and what is not correct. Now, it's obvious once again that there was a war. If you didn't see it around you, there's a war going on outside. Nobody's safe. <laughs> Because this war is really taking place inside. But then if you take back the metaphor, once again, now I actually have to take off the head of the human and see this head only as androgynin, angel. I did not tell you the head was supreme. That's why it has two hemispheres, OK? And then I have to now denote when the circle disappears into the globule, you've reached supreme, supreme being, Godhead, <laughs> right? That's the Godhead. That's where they are, Godhead, just the angel. They only worship angels. They only worship the angles, the degrees of the fire, right? So you got degrees of the fire. They master Earth, the pentagram. So they know by the way the Earth shifts, how to shift the star to, to call forth energy. But the star is not a symbol you draw on the ground. It's a human being. So it's a, a person that has the ability to every day know exactly where they're at geometrically and all that. And they know how to move with the power that is of this plane. And that's why if you don't know how to move as, with the power of this plane, you're already at a disadvantage. Now, this is not to go and tell people you need to go and understand the power of this plane because you, you can rush headlong into something like that and end up disastrous. All I'm telling people is, is that there's something more massively serious going on here and it's going to take all of our collective minds that want to get involved in order to figure it out. At this point, we should all start really thinking about what we're saying and seeing if it's really, really coming into, into connection with the micro-macro knowledge, meaning that there's a lot of teachers out there that are still teaching things that are not anywhere near this, and it's only holding us back longer. It's actually slowing us down. So there has to be some level of 
uniformity. And I want to explain that. Because I'm not talking about everyone becoming like the same thing. This is something important that people need to know. I'm not talking about everyone becoming the same person. What I'm talking about is you becoming everything. See, because this is a big thing, because a lot of people think in uniformity that they'll lose this individual character. Individual, right? This is the weakest person. Individual means weak. And it does not have anything to do with being everything, which is strong. Why? Just take a hole. The more we take out of this, the less is going to be there. So if we take out pieces of this pi or phi, the less there's going to be. So in a reality that is based again on division, you have to ask yourself, if you say I'm John from Detroit, I drive a Taurus, I am black, but I like Arab women, and I eat only chicken, <laughs> but I prefer boss suits, <laughs> and you see, all this is your weakness. <laughs> All this is your weakness from the time you began at John. Every single thing that was given to you from this point has been a suggestion. Just a suggestion. So when you obey suggestions, you end up becoming this divided individual <laughs> that doesn't even know themselves if they were looking right at it. Because that's what's happening in reality. When you look at me and you look at anyone else, know that you're looking at yourself. That's just what's happening. Every piece of the fractal contains a part of, or excuse me, contains the whole. So just in that tense then, if you want to control the world, control yourself. If you want to expand, expand yourself. It's not to go out and try to accomplish these things. That's just not the way. So what we're dealing with with this uniformity is, is that we become everything. We let go of this individual weak stance of not seeing that it is our responsibility now to do it all. And then we move into something entirely different. This is a, a really thought through <laughs> equation to how we all can expand that equals relatively no money, no money at all. You have it today, so it becomes whatever you decide to do with it. Of our consciousness that fell. So I think that this sets the stage for an entirely different kind of dissertation about what is going on here on, in this circle, because what, what the pentagram has become is it's become a hidden symbol to tell you about something that is not a pentagram in itself, but more of like a globule. But because they are having to define something that is undefined, remember, this same globule is here. It's undefined. So they have to send it through here to define it. And that's why the world and the people that live in the world and the way they act and the way they behave no matter how much they try to change, this is also the other major situation that's going on here. This planet next to us, known as Venus, is creating what I believe is a womb that is shaped like this. And that what's happening is, is up here where we're coming from, let's say uh, the fallen glob, because you don't even have a body. You come through this, and this gives you this phi relationship for this particular reality, because this is the womb that I believe that most people are coming from. Now, here's another thing that shows you why this 
in a major way may be true. Maybe not exactly like this, but true in many tense. The scripture says that 33 of them, or 30, 33rd, or a third, excuse me, that's third, but this is the same thing, fell from heaven, right? So when you can really grasp then that the body then and its consciousness is related to this, right? now obviously this is what's happening. Earth's here, okay? Now, as long as we're on earth, we will always be moving in a circle. It doesn't matter. Wherever you are on earth and whatever you do, wherever you go, whatever happens, you will always be moving in a circle until you get out of this circle. So that's why this circle is very synonymous with the circle, with the pentagram inside the circle. But instead of looking at this as a symbol, look at this as just five which means the structure that everyone has been created with inside of this reality, right? It is phi. You start, again, having the numbers that are actually associated with the entire activity. Because now, watch this. If a 33rd or a third of them fell, that will kind of equate to why there's 33 positions in our spine. Because that's 33 vertebrae minus heaven, or minus the, the skull. So what it's basically showing is, is that the, these 33 notches, which also connect in with all the rest of the body, are actually the part